Hey, what's up, YouTube and GPK fam? It's your boy, Retro Hero, back doing another Garbage Pail Kids show and tell. This one's number 70. In today's episode, we're looking at series one of the Carnage Pail Kids. This was a fan made set put out by my buddy GPK Hunter. It's got a lot of various artists from around the community. Pretty stoked to show this off. This is a great set. I've seen it floating around. I've seen a video or two on YouTube about this. In addition, in the immortal words of Britney Spears, oops, I did it again. Your boy here bought another collector's box. Why did I do that? I'll get into it in the video. We're going to open some packs, take a look at some cards today. Should be a good time. In the meantime, why don't you sit back, relax, and let's have some fun. Welcome back. Let's first jump into this amazing fan made set done by my boy GPK Hunter. It is called the Carnage Pale Kids. The cool part about this set is it is done by a variety of artists all around the Garbage Pale Kid community. It is fan art. GPK Hunter, if you want to hit him up, you can find him on Instagram. I'll have some information below here in the screen. But it's a really cool set. I've seen it before. It's been a while. So this is kind of like my first look. But let's take a look at what the set is about. First, just the cover card for this Series 1 of the Carnage Pale Kids. So let's start. We'll look at each card. So we have Paula apart or Paul apart Paul apart and Paul apart was done by Becky sharp very cool it says carnage pale kids series one on the back Paula part second one here we got delirious Dan looks like Dan is being eaten by a burger yeah all right so and that is done by Kimber Grobman Kimber Grobman did this art very cool third one here is shark NATO <laughs> <laughs> so kind of a damage Don parody shark NATO like this art. That's really cool. Uh, Julia McKenzie. I've seen her on a lot of the Facebook marketplace or garbage pail kid type sites. Very cool. Rick shot. So Rick has had a pool plane accident here. Rick shot uh, done by our boy GPK Lee Lee GPK. Awesome. Lee rumble. So very cool. Nice artwork there no skinny mini <laughs> okay so i know you guys know what's going on here We've got a little freddy krueger action no skin no skinny mini and that is sarah balboina okay and if i mispronounce that i apologize next one we got is chain saw chain <laughs> okay so kind of reminisce of maybe some GPK Nick art. Who did this? Uh, Steve Crockett. So very cool. Uh, Steve's got some pretty cool skills there, like Chainsaw. Very nice. Uh, in Gorge George is the next one. Carnage Pale Kids in Gorge George. Steve Martin did that art. Very cool. All right. Now we got Max Volume. <laughs> very cool. Play on the old one. Julie Kane did that artwork luggage luke so luke is in his luggage there fox ling hopefully i pronounced that right if i didn't fox i apologize keith sheath <laughs> we got thundercats uh is that the he-man sword i don't know we've got uh it looks like that is a lightsaber going through keith sheath worst comic-con ever maybe t-shirt and rob harris did that artwork pretty cool card i like that one uh, next one we have is Shish Kebab. <laughs> okay, so a little bit more disgusting there. Um, Magweek Spencer, I'm sure I mispronounced that. I apologize. Auto Erotic, so we won't really spend a whole lot on that one, Guy Holzer. I do appreciate some of the fan art that is a little bit more explicit. I get it. We're going for gross. We're going for... Um, however you want to express yourself, but this is a G-rated channel, or at least we try to be, so uh, we'll just move on. 
um, carved Ken. So <laughs> it's really good art, carved Ken. Uh, Mike Stevens, Mike Stevens, if you're out there, that's some pretty cool artwork. I like that. Uh, blended Brian, <laughs> Brian. So blended Brian, done by Nick. Mugly, uh, I believe he is a Tops artist or used to be a Tops artist. Uh, we got Shred and Sheila. We got a face and a face. Uh, okay, so maybe, uh, yeah. So Becky Sharp did that one. And then we're back to Chewed Chuck again. This is going to be the B names to B of 14. I'll kind of just go through some of the B names for you here. We got Chummy Chad, Paul Q. Peel Penelope, Lumberjack, still great art, Rotten Robbie. This one is Boombox Bobby, Carry On Carl, Convention Cody, <laughs> uh, Delicatessi, and yeah, we'll keep moving on. Smile Lee, Slice Slyler, and just the back card that has the checklist on it. So you do have 28 cards, 1A through 14A, and 1B through 14B. Really good set. GPK Hunter, thank you for hooking your buddy here up. Um, thank you so much. This is a cool set. It is a welcome addition to my fan art collection. Carnage Pale Kids, again, check out GPK Hunter on Instagram if you want to get a set of these for your own collection. Very cool, man. Thank you so much for sending that to me. That is absolutely awesome. All right, moving along. So we are taking a look at another Hobby Box Collector's Edition of Bookworms uh, 2022 Tops release Garbage Pail Kids. Why'd your boy buy another collector's box? <laughs> well, I was out and about, um, I, you know, I was just out and about and I stopped at my local hobby shop and there they were just sitting on the glass counters. They had retail boxes and hobby boxes, but I tell you what, they had these boxes for 70 bucks and uh, I pre-ordered mine and paid a lot more than 70 bucks for mine. So I thought, man, if I could save like 30 bucks, 25 bucks, whatever, um, <laughs> why not pick another box up? Um, I was at a local Walmart today. Um, I took a look to see if there was any of those mega boxes out there. I'm not saying I'm gonna buy a mega box. I'm not saying, that I wanna pick up a mega box. I was just curious if they were out there. Uh, they were not, so, which is fine. I probably would have left them there anyway, but uh, for 70 bucks, how can you say no to a hobby box? So yeah, we're gonna break another hobby box, mostly because, you know, this was our hit last time. Uh, the Red Patch Board of the Flies for 75. And hey, this hit's coming out to you at the end of today's video. So that'll be for a lucky winner. But I want to check out, let's see if I can get something better from a hobby box. Maybe the second box will treat me right. It is from a local sports card store, so that did not even open. Let's get those scissors out again. Okay, here we go. So local sports card store, maybe my luck will be a little bit better. Wrapping paper, gone. Let's open this baby up. Of course, you get your patch in here. Uh, GPK Hunter, I sent the patch to him last time, so this will be our giveaway for this video. I have no interest whatsoever in these patches. Leaky Lindsay, um, we'll do this as a giveaway for today's video, Leaky Lindsay patch. And then we have 24 packs in here, so let's scroll down that camera just a touch. Let's take these out. And the chances of getting a patch card and an autograph card, they are plentiful. Look, I get it, I understand. But we are gonna go through and just check these again. Let's see if I can feel that, you know, it's gonna be a patch card. And if it is, well, maybe I won't subject you guys to uh, watching a long video. We'll just go right to the hit. And then we'll move on from there. So. Uh, so far, I don't feel a patch card. Wait a second. Nope. Okay, so, all right. This will not be a patch card box. So, 
chances we could get uh, one of those awesome artist autographs that aren't numbered. We sure love to have a sketch or a plate, something like that. That is what I was looking for. Uh, maybe one of those, uh, what do they call those foil super fractors? Uh, what are they on here? I don't know. But uh, hey, let's go ahead and open them up. So in the immortal uh, words of Dan the man, just pull in the middle. Hey Dan, thank you so much for that advice. That way I am not cutting cards. Here we go, pack number one. We're not gonna go through the characters. You've already seen them, but let's take a look. Our black for this one will be Saul, Shank, and right out of the gate, you guys. Right out of the gate again. Here we go, Smokin' Joe official artist autograph. No number, Smokin' Joe official artist autograph. Smokin' Joe, great guy. Pulled a autograph for him a couple hobby boxes ago. I don't know what it is when I get these cards, but uh, you know, I just seem to pull that hit right away. But for those of you who wanna stick around and see if there is anything else, maybe we'll pull a cool Moby Dick Gray or something like that. Feel free and stick around, but that Smokin' Joe autograph is our hit for the box. Um, I am still looking to complete my set. The black here is Big Bucks Biff. So hopefully I do that with this box. Uh, if not, I did go ahead and just bought an actual bookworm set with the subset from the hobby boxes. So I will have that for my collection. And then I hope to have another set. Maybe we'll throw that out as another giveaway. Watching Hugh is gonna be my black parallel for that and Hot Stuff Hobbs. I still like that Calvin and Hobbs card. Boy, that would be really neat if I somehow pulled a, a uh, plate for that. I don't think I'm gonna go any deeper into this set um, than I already have. Um, all right, so it looks like this will be our Wacky Packages Pros. Um, Spew's Bat Kid found in garbage, so pretty cool. I hate, that's still a hit, that's pretty nice. Let's set that up there. Uh, nothing else in that pack moving along Really hoping for a Moby Dick Gray. It seems like I haven't seen a lot of those pulled There's not a lot of those going out on Facebook as well. Radical Rapunzel is the black Yeah, so I don't know if two collectors boxes I don't think you can get a full set of wow that that was already open you guys I didn't even have to, to open that so maybe tops messed up. There's something in here, right? Yeah, there's not, so Caterpillar eaten. All right, still a very good set. Um, I am rather impressed with this set. Um, the card stock, again, a little bit thin, but people are talking about the difference between card stock, stock uh, between some of the boxes that you get, some of the hobbies and collector, collector boxes. So more than likely tops, you got a red behind there, so the black is page holder, very nice. A red is Leisurely, and Leisurely is 23 of 75. So hey, that's another hit. We'll just put Leisurely up there and uh, keep on going. Still pull some parallels. Most people are pulling one red per box, which is, I don't know, a little skimpy. Hey, this time we pulled an Adam Book from the collector's box. Very nice, we'll just set him over there. Our black on this one is Lionel, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Very good series of books, and off the next pack. I don't know, guys. Uh, you know, what's everyone's opinion on bookworms? I like the sets. Um, not very happy with the correlation. Super not happy with uh, the hit correlation that you can get in these collector's boxes. But it is what it is. You know, I like artist autographs. I'll add Smoke and Joe. I don't know. I've probably got 30, 40 artist autographs now. and. They just sit in a one touch and in my little fireproof cabinets and uh, that's what they do. So Stuck Scotty is gonna be my black there. You know what's really interesting is the black parallels are a thicker cardstock than the standard cards. So I noticed that a little bit. I don't know if they just went to maybe a different printer for those, but uh, it is what it is. Hey, Dan the man, easy way to open up these packs. Just pulling down the middle, you the man, buddy. Thank you. Our black for this one will be Wyatt Whale. Would be neat if that was a Moby Dick Gray, right? So moving along. I don't know, I've seen people pull a couple hits from some of these collector's boxes. Uh, not a major hit, but they do receive uh, a couple different parallels. So maybe we'll get lucky through here. Elephant is our black. 
Um, gonna have quite a bit of black parallels. So if you're out there and you need to trade for something, you're, you're trying to put a, together a black parallel set, uh, you could probably hit me up. What uh, I think I'll have 48 of them when, when this is all done. And, and again, you know, they just sit. Funny, Sunny is the black parallel there. They just sit in uh, a, a slide box for me. So bookmark, if you can read this, you're a too gross. So pretty nice card. I like that bookmarked one, bookmark number two. If you can read this, you're too gross. I believe you only receive one of those in a collector's box. So that bookmark subset, um, someone had to open up a lot of boxes. Now, when I bought my set of these cards, I actually received a bookmark subset so and that only cost me 25 bucks 30 with shipping so pretty inexpensive hey that's a nice black there we got adam book for our black i'm sure someone out there is going to want that that should go for uh, i don't know what do you say three four five ten fifteen bucks i don't know um i did was missing when i opened up the the retail box and the collector's box the last time i was missing 14 cards and and sure enough, all 14 cards were all A's. They were all A cards that I was missing. So Skewed Stewart is the black. Um, so I, I just went on uh, Facebook Marketplace again and just posted, hey, I need these cards. Uh, Dan the man was so kind. He's like, when I open them up, I'll just send them to you, bro. And, and thanks, Dan. I, I shouldn't need them going through this new collector's box. Um, really appreciate you coming to my rescue there. But, uh, you know, a guy uh, messaged me and says, hey, I have everything. Um, thing one is the black there. I have everything that you need, so why don't you just hit me up? So I did. Uh, made a quick offer. 14 cards, all A, nothing special. Um, I offered him 6 bucks plus shipping for the base cards. Uh, he sent me a message back saying that's too low. <laughs> so, hey, man, I get it. You know, you... However you guys want to price your cards out, that's cool with me. So catching Ryan, good card. Um, that's cool with me, but uh, they're base cards, man. And the whole set for 100 cards, uh, 200 cards actually, 100A, 100B, is going for 20 to 25 bucks. So uh, I thought it was more than fair. So that's another reason I picked up the other collector's boxes, just to ensure that the... Uh, next set i had was going to be finished so i would have two full sets um i will be giving away one of these uh garbage pail kid bookworm base card sets just the base cards all 200 cards in a future video so stick around and if you are not a subscriber hey do me a favor hit that subscriber button beth death is our black parallel there very nice uh hit that subscribe button for me if you would give me a like through the video that would be pretty cool too makes me feel good about myself you guys hit that like button um and yeah that's pretty much it lots of bookworm being opened out there on youtube uh it makes for a fun work week for me because i just turn it on in the background um and watch you guys open up some bookworm it's nice to see mr kimball is back with his funny videos uh he had a good pull and uh what was the the gpk hunter uh which is different than gpk hunter uh, opened up a hobby box or retail box and pulled a sketch card from it. So I thought that was pretty cool here recently. Um, Winnie the Pooper, that's a great black, like that one as well. Um, I did watch on the Facebook Marketplace, someone opened up, what, 17 packs of the Canadian Series 9. And on pack number 17, uh, first time I've seen it pulled live. Uh, he pulled a semicolon, no number error, and it was absolutely beautiful. Stellar looking card, may come back as a nine. Good Nina, nice little black parallel there. Uh, should come back as a PSA nine, might even be a contender for a PSA 10. Uh, so really, really cool he pulled that. And uh, it puts the rest, any of the naysayers out there, it says, uh, you know, it's it's not just, or it's it can be any pack. It's not the Canadian pack. It is 100% the Canadian pack. Uh, and he pulled it, he pulled it live and it was awesome. I'm glad I sat there and watched all 17 packs being open. So very cool. Uh, this is our last pack. So far we've got our red, we've got our bookmark and we've got our wacky packages, pros. Uh, and of course our Joe, or excuse me, Smoking Joe autograph. Last pack, the black parallel on this will be as a you wish. <laughs> Never ending story, very cool. Uh, and that's it. So again, um, right off the bat, pulled that first pack, Smoking Joe. I seem to do that a lot with these boxes. I just have the magic touch. So 
Hey, if you guys are out there, send me your collector's boxes. I'll just pick the pack. I'll send it back to you. Open that, and then you're good to go. You can sell the rest. Um, no, never buy loose packs of Garbage Pail Kids Modern Series. So, because <laughs> more than likely, they've already pulled the hit. So let's go through the hits for this uh, so you guys can have a little bit of fun. Let's grab that and that and that. So first, we'll start with our red parallel. Leisurely is our blood red. If you could read this, you're too gross. Really cool bookmark card. Excuse me. Uh, Bat Kid found in the garbage is your wacky packages. Smoking Joe is our artist autograph. That's the big hit. And then our black parallels. As a you wish. Dive Dawn. Good Nina. Oops. Winnie the Pooper. <laughs> Still think that's funny. Draft Drew. Beth Death. Shadowed. Shadowy Sean. Knock Knock Nick. Thing Wand, uh, another really good card here. Skewered Stewarts, um, Adam Book, that'll be our probably most valuable <laughs> out of everything we pulled. Funny Sunny, Wyatt Whale, Stuck Scotty, uh, Purple Pryor, uh, Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe. Does anyone understand Purple Pryor? I, I don't. Page Holder, Caterpillar Eaton, uh, Radical Rapunzel, Craziness George, Watching You, Big Bucks Biff, and Sald Shank. So, those are our parallels we pulled from the set. All in all, not too bad. Still a lot of fun. Let's hope that I get the 14A cards that I needed in here. I'm assuming I did, so I will set that aside. Um, let's go ahead and maybe uh, tear into something else. You know, maybe we get something cool out of these uh, Revenge of, oh, the horrible fat packs, man. It would be nice just to, to pull a sketch or a gold. So I know you have seen these multiple times, you guys. So we're going to go through and just look for some hits. Our purple is Halloween tree, Halloween tray, Halloween tray. Uh, Batty Barney is going to be the classic monsters. Brian Ryan is going to be the classic monsters. Hit and Ron and the green is Society Sal. So this is a great set. I have so many extras of these just sitting in boxes. Really enjoyed this. Uh, oh, the horrible and revenge of oh, the horrible. Doesn't look like there's a sketch in this one. But let's take a look. Uh, what do we got in here? Could get an autograph. Could get a play card. That'd be cool. So Zach Early. Jab Jason. Of course, catching Jason. Um, the monster, classic monsters. And then we have Revealing Roddy. So uh, this is a great one. It is from, what is the name of the movie? Oh, uh, gosh. Uh, Alive? I don't even remember the name of the movie. But it was a great movie. Got ourselves a security guard. I'm going to do one more of these. Maybe we get lucky, right? Nope. No sketch. Here we go, looking again. Anything in here, maybe we get a gold. Nope, nope. Our green is Kingston Kong, Babadook, and our two monster, classic monsters, Sid Malicious, very cool. That is the rest of, what do you guys think? Should I open the last two and take a look? Maybe, just maybe we'll get something, right? Well, I'm doing them quick. Oh, no sketch in that one either, darn it. I don't think I'm ever going to pull a sketch live. Maybe uh, one of these days I'll just buy a case of cards and do what Avo did and open up cards until I get a sketch. Nope. Vampire is the purple there. Lots of parallels I have for this set. Nothing else. Just a security card there. This is our last one. I do have a couple I'm going to keep sealed in the collection. Nope. No sketch. But we still could pull an auto. We could pull a gold. We could pull something, right? Maybe. We know we're going to pull some parallels. <laughs> a jable. Uh, Demon Damien. Two monsters. Nope. Another purple is Staring Contessa and Bad Habit Hannah. So looks like that is what we have here. So the fat packs opened up. Nothing major for you guys today. I feel bad. But hey, stick around. We're going to go ahead and give away this board of the flies patch card. Be back in just a moment. All right, welcome back. We are doing the giveaway this week. If you commented in Garbage Pail Kids Show and Tell episode 69, hashtag the patch cards are stupid, you're in the drawing for the red patch parallel number 475, hard to make out, board of the fly so this is today's giveaway uh had a bunch of comments apparently i am in the minority when it comes to patch cards but 
We're doing some quick shuffling and today's winner for the patch card will be Hey, all right, Darren Anderson. All right, buddy. So Darren, you have to comment in this video underneath your YouTube ID and uh, let me know. I believe, you know what, Darren, it's probably been a long time. I don't think I have your address anymore. If you guys have watched my videos for a long time, Darren won the, was it the 250 or the 500 subscriber giveaway? I don't remember which one it was but he won the atom bomb graded card. So back then it was like a hundred dollar card and now I maybe a thousand dollar card, Darren. So, but anyway, uh, Darren, the board of the flies, red patch parallel will be yours. Number 475, just comment underneath your YouTube ID in today's video. For the rest of you, uh, looks like the next giveaway, we're gonna do a leaky Lindsay patch. So you can just have a patch. Patch cards aren't stupid, so just go ahead and comment in the video and just say, hey, Retro, I want that patch. <laughs> I don't know how many people will comment for that, so we might have two or three. All right, so hey, thanks for watching another Hobby Box Collector's Edition opening for Bookworms. It will be my last, I promise. I'm not gonna open another one of these. I'm glad I got it, Smoking Joe autograph. That's pretty cool, but uh, you know, it is what it is, guys. Uh, no plate for me this time. Maybe I will just have to scour eBay and buy the plate that I want. Anyway, you guys take care. Talk to you again soon. Bye.